Hello! Oh, ha, almost ate the mic there. Hello, all the, well, some of, well, to the handful of people that might see this. <laughs> ten people is a handful, right? You got ten fingers. So let's, let's um, welcome to another OBG video about random shit that happens in the world, and I comment on it. Today we're going to play some Borderlands 2 while I talk about shit. Um, you know, as per usual. So, uh, the first thing I want to, the first thing I want to do is see if I can move in this game. Um, with the mouse buttons, because then I can hold the microphone. Training, no. You think, <coughs> excuse me, you think it would be under reset key bindings? No. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Move forward. Okay. Shit. Um. Let, let's test this out. Oh, good. I fixed it. <laughs> Some what? Okay, so we can't run, but that's okay. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Alright, so this is a bit annoying. Wow, that sucks. Learn to aim, eh? Alright, so this is gonna be a bit hard to gauge. Anyway, let me get to the, um, you know what, you're not watching this for me to give commentary on this. You want, you want commentary on the stuff I'm talking about. So. Uh, the first thing on the docket, uh, this, this commentary is brought to you by the hashtag Stop Puppet Steve. A uh, little grassroots effort I'm, I'm putting together. Uh, make sure the irate gamer gets exposed for the puppet fuck that he is. Okay, so. Um, now, the main thing I want to talk about today, uh, that's a really... Well, sad, depending on, I guess, your denomination of religion you believe in, but... The the uh, religious extremist and hate speech uh, procure Jack Chick is dead. Yes, he died sometime yesterday. Um, it's all over. It's all over the um, the news on Twitter, and some people, you know, of course, were sharing some funny things about it and stuff. Um, if you're wondering why I keep quitting, I'm, I'm farming, uh, a gun, but, um, you know, that's not fun. We'll do something else. Anyway, um, so yeah, Jack Chick's dead, and I, I found it kind of funny. Uh, you know, one person, uh, one tweet that I found, uh, considerably funny was the fact that, uh, you know, Jack Chick said so much about the afterlife and death and stuff, and now, ironically, he knows more about the afterlife than any of us currently do. And it's really sad that we don't get to see where he ended up. You know, that's, uh, that's kind of a shame. But, um, yeah, so Jack Chick is dead. Uh, apparently the, the, trick, the Chick tracks are going to keep going. 
Um, I don't see them getting. I don't see them getting ended. Um, but it probably won't be the same without Jack's special brand of hate and racism and xenophobia and pretty much all kinds of other things. I mean, if if you were looking for the racist guide to hey, it was pretty much it was pretty much the the prejudiced this person's readers digest the chick chacks were. That's a good way to say it. Yeah. They were readers digest for like people in in the KKK or whatever, you know. They were uh they were Wow. This is, this is becoming annoying. That is lovely. Quiet! I need some help. Not that I really need it, because I'm gonna... Come on, where are my health goals? There we go. Um, anyway, sorry, I got carried away with the gameplay there for a sec. Um, yeah, we're not gonna restart. We're gonna go do something. Um, this moving with the, the mouse button, changing all these weapons. Um, so, yeah, Jack Chick's dead. I'm sure the Bible Reloaded guys will have a funny expose or uh, a tribute to him by reading some of his classic tracks, probably. Um, that'll be fun to watch. They always do chick tracks about him and stuff. Um, go check them out. I mean, yeah, I'm not really... It's not really all that beneficial for a ass channel like mine to call to, to shout them out. But they make good chick track videos, so go check them out. Anyway, so the main topic of today's video um, is the state of shout-out channels. Um... Channels that uh, usually have a, now you don't the the funny thing I want to put this out there before I get to the main point of shout out channels you don't see too many <coughs> channels um, that offer shout outs uh, having more than you know maybe a million or so subscribers I don't understand why that is um, I guess they just lose their ability to care about small time YouTubers after. They get big themselves. Um, but yeah, so shout out channels are basically Don't channels mind, with um, a, 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 a small but considerable uh, base of subscribers. Maybe like, um, you know, a thousand or five thousand or somewhere around there. Maybe ten thousand, you know. Um, definitely enough for, for the, the small end YouTubers to be excited to get a shout out from, you know. Um, even if you only had a hundred and you got a shout out from someone with 20,000, that would be a big, uh, that would be pretty exciting because you're like, oh yay, I might get, you know, a hundred or so extra subscribers. <laughs> but, um, the reason I'm, I'm calling them out today is because, uh, it's basically a sub for sub system, but it's masquerading as a beneficial thing because it's a lottery. When you turn something that you're doing to to be um, when you turn something that you're doing to be generous into a lottery, you're not generous anymore. Sure, you're generous to the one or two people who win, but you're not generous to all the other people who, who made that effort and then they don't get anything out of it. So the from what I've seen, the the criteria to get um, a shout out from a shout out channel or a channel that offers shout outs and stuff is you subscribe to their channel oh wait I meant I meant plural channels that's right if if the channel that is offering the shout out wants to give you a shout out you have to subscribe if they have one to the channels that aren't giving shout outs but you can't get a shout out unless you subscribe to every one of their channels sounds a bit odd doesn't it in a perfect world, you would think, well, the other channels aren't giving me a shout-out, so I should only have to sub to the one that is. That's not how it is, though. If you want a shout-out from one channel, you got to subscribe to every other channel. 
Now you would think, I'm subbing to these channels. Shouldn't they give me a shout out on every other of the channels I, I subscribe to? Nope, doesn't work like that either. And you know what happens is that you subscribe to these channels and you get nothing out of it. But then it's like you want to, like they have a pool every, it's usually a weekly thing. And who's to say, okay, well I subscribe, I don't get a shout out, I'll just unsubscribe. But if you want to get in the pool for next time and try and win the lottery as it is again, you have to subscribe again. So they rope you in to stay and subscribe and other stuff. But you're like, well, I could just be an empty subscriber and hope for the best. But there's another criteria that they don't really talk about. Because you have to be active and comment and like their videos whenever they upload them. So now you're not only a subscriber, but you're a shackled viewer and commenter and liker of their videos I'm faster than you. based on the fact that they might give you a little bit of exposure. And who's to say that when you get this exposure that the people who are going to be hearing about you even sub to you? You'll get the odd nice person that does, yeah. You know, there's not everybody's an asshole. But for the most part, they don't have to sub to you. But they've gotten a subscriber out of you because you wanted to get a shout out from them. Now, I'm sure there's other criteria that I might be forgetting. Um, I think one of them might be following them on Twitter as well. That just adds to the uh, insanity of it. Oh shit, I'm dying. Um, but yeah, anyway, basically the problem with it is that you're giving all these people support for a chance at getting some support in return. So your your likes and and views and stuff does not uh, does not turn into you getting likes and views, but a chance to get views and subscribers. It's actually really backwards. And I mean, I don't see why a channel who's having steady growth um, just be like, hey, you know what? For a nice thing to do, I'm just gonna link in the description some channels that could use some help. You know, it's 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 not a bad thing to be a YouTube humanitarian, you know, or YouTubetarian. But they put all these restrictions on it, and even if you do win the lottery of it, there's no there's no um, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get a good amount of growth. But to say you won't get like one subscriber is probably like very unlikely. You might, yeah, you'll probably get one or a, or a good couple of them. But if you want to continually get shout outs from those, you have to stay subscribed to them. Can't catch me. Can't and catch me. And who's to say, now I'm not saying that's how the people are, but who's to say that if you unsubscribe to them and they give you a shout out, they'll be like, you know, back talking you or something because you ended up, they'll say they just used me for a shout out. Well, of course. That's what it is. People sub just to get the shout out. They might not even be interested in your stuff. Now they do say in the videos, if you're not interested in, in the videos, then, you know, don't watch them, but just subscribe to me. So you're just becoming an empty subscriber. I don't know. But I know for a fact that if I ever got enough channel growth to where I could influence don't grab me. an audience, I would do shoutouts for free. Because I would have no problem telling other people to go support. Now, I wouldn't just pick random people. You know, they'd have to be people I am interested in watching and other stuff, you know. But I would have to say, you know what, this person's pretty cool. Go watch them. And I wouldn't expect them to suck to me for me telling people to go watch them. Chances are, if I like them enough, I'm already stuck anyway. Who's next? So it's not a big deal. But, um, yeah. It's just, it's just really backwards. And, you know, it sucks when you're a small channel and you have no other means that you can think of to make your channel grow. And, you know, it's the only thing you can consider is to get on board with a bigger Come channel get to me. get you. So, that's just the thing I have. Um, 
But, um, what else did I want to talk about? I mean, we covered Jack Chick. That's kind of bad. Um, we talked about uh, Shut Up Channel. Um, for the most part, oh, I think yeah. that's all I really wanted to talk about. Uh, I'm thinking, oh, also, like I put uh, in, in the video of my last video, um, if you like my channel art, go ahead and uh, click on the link I'll put somewhere in the video, probably around this timestamp here. To check out their uh, their speed draws and other things. Ask them to draw you something if you want. They're pretty cool beans about it. Um, I don't know if they'll draw you like tickling fetish or war or anything like that. So you know, don't tell them I told you to go and ask for that. You know, I have to converse with them. I don't want that kind of problem. But no, like if you like this stuff, go and see if they'll make you something and and everything. The link will be uh, annotated. But anyway, that's about all I have to say. Um, remember, stop up at Steve. Um, hope, uh, well, I'll talk to you before Halloween anyway. Hope your October's good, and uh, yeah, till next time. Bye.